Hey yo man, what is good? It's your boy Money Cloud. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a burner wallet using a phantom to basically mint an NFT the safest way possible. Now I know you've probably been hearing this around the NFT space saying I have a burner wallet or use your burner wallet address when you're minting or something like that, right? Well, I'm gonna be showing you how to do that. It's really easy and really simple. Hit that like subscribe button if I do help you out. Let's get it. So first things first, I'm hoping that you actually have a phantom wallet in the first place. If you do not, I recommend you search some phantom app on Google or whatever you're using and download it please make an account other than that i'm sure you have a phantom wallet let's get it so first thing you want to do is of course go to your phantom wallet log into it and uh, you want to click on the little three right here the little three lines right there click on that as you see i already have one that says burner on it but for you you're going to click on add and connect wallets so you want to click on that and uh create a new wallet click on that right there and boom pow just like that you now have a burner wallet that has nothing into it zero dollars and you have a new address right there now how do you start this like well, what does it basically mean to do this now the reason they call it a burner burner wallet is because there is projects out there that will rug you if you don't know what a rug is basically scam you take your solana that you just invested and pretty much run away with your money that that's simple so this is why you need a burner wallet which is a wallet that basically is only meant to mint nft so for me i have a main wallet and a burner wallet a lot of people have multiple wallets it's really up to your preference so once you have your burner wallet of course you want to make sure to at least send solana to this address or if you have money in your main wallet you want to send that over to this which is by copying the clipboard right here of the wallet address go over to your main wallet with the money in it you want to also click on the solana as you see i am a broke boy with only 14 dollars hit that subscribe button bro i need some more solana and then you want to click on send and of course you right here you paste the address that of course that you were going to use for your burner wallet and you send the max amount or however much the mint of the project is i hope that made sense to you so of course once you sense it go over to your burner wallet and it's gonna it should be there i, I didn't send any money to it because i'm gonna delete this after because i already have this wallet let's say this random as project right here i don't even know what this project is okay do not go buy it I i'm literally just found this randomly they say they have a minting website so you go over to their minting website i mean this project actually doesn't look that bad actually i might check it out regardless there might say minting and there might say minting for 0.5 or something like that let's just say 0.5 so you need to make sure before you mint the project go over to phantom wallet and sign into your burner wallet you can even name it right here uh go to settings and just name it burner wallet which is what i did or trash can i don't i don't know just name it whatever you want so that you can be more organized with it so let's say it is 0.5 mint to mint one of these you want to make sure to have 0.5 in here only okay you might want to have like 0.6 just in case of the fees or 0.7 it doesn't really matter but do not have any nfts in here and do not have any more solana only have the amount of solana you need to mint this project that is what a burner wallet is the reason you do that is because some projects might rug you their website this might be all fake right here again i don't know anything about this project let's just hypothetically speak here they make a website for you to mint on you mint the project and they drain your whole wallet it has happened to many people before so i recommend you do this you don't ever want to send your real address where all your nfts are held because people can take them from you i don't know how don't ask me how it just happens so that's why i say you make sure you have no nfts in this wallet you have only the amount of solana that it costs to buy it and mint it if you do get scammed or rugged at least they only took the amount that uh it took to mint it instead of taking your whole wallet right like come on common sense you might still take an l but at least you didn't take an even fatter l by giving them your whole wallet so yeah this is my wallet right here as i could tell you know your boy got cyber bulls who remembers that right i don't know so instead of using this wallet of course i go to a burner wallet and yeah that's the only way i'm not gonna get like my wallet drained so yeah man i really hope that made sense to you make sure you make a burner wallet everybody should have a burner wallet and of course once you buy the nft on your burner wallet you can always send the nft to your main wallet i hope this is making sense i'm saying wallet a lot and this is like a little bit small tutorial it should be as easy as possible to do this y'all go make that bread man and y'all also give me a straight follow on twitter your boy's at 218 now i'm living lavish am i an influencer now can i say that regardless please hit that like subscribe button follow me on twitter i'd appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next one peace